Well, yes, Nirujan, as we can see, there are uh, workers and the leaders who have already arrived at the Chief Minister resident uh, in Thane, where the celebration has already started. And there are also banners which we have been told across uh, this constituency, that is Topri Panch Pukri, because it's Eknath Shinde who is reading from his constituency, and sometime from now, even Eknath Shinde will be coming out of his residence. He is likely to visit the counting centre in his constituency, as well as uh, he will go to the Varsha Bangalore, where there are series of meetings which is going to be happened because as far as Chief Minister face is concerned, we know that the he has already mentioned, it's a Pravin Dharikar who said that the largest party, whoever has the large number, largest number, the Chief Minister will be from the same party. But here are the Shiv Sena, there are banners across Thane, his, uh, his also his uh, constituency, which has clearly mentioned that Ekna Shinde will come back as the Chief Minister. So here in Thane, right outside his residence, where the celebration have already started. We can see there are uh, workers and leaders, they have been arriving. What we have been told that uh, the ministers have been asked to get all the MLAs back in Mumbai by evening. But uh, it is uh, indeed a victory for the Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, who was contesting from Kedar Dige, who is the nephew of uh, Anand Dige. Okay, we have some pictures also coming of uh, BJP leaders sharing laddus. Sharing laddus and uh, just want to get in some uh, some some views here, Abhishek. Uh, many people asking what happens to Sharad Pawar after this. Of course, we discussed about Uddhav Thakre, but what happens to Sharad Pawar after this? Well, as in the case of Uddhav Thakre, so in the case of uh, Sharad Pawar, um, Niranjan. Though I would say Sharad Pawar legacy might have a little more longevity than Uddhav's. Yes. Uh, uh, it's downhill from here on, you know. Uh, depending on which election you are. Uh, talking about uh, the vote share from here on is going to shrink because uh, remember if Ajit Pawar has held on to his fort in Baramati, right? Yes. And uh, despite all the doubling down that we saw in terms of campaigning by Sharad Pawar holding five or six rallies in one constituency alone going, you know, to area-wise, uh, I think uh, this speaks volumes about uh, the manner in which Maharashtra politics has seen a tectonic shift this time uh, with... In the case of both the regional parties, uh, passing on of the baton happening in the sense that in the case of NCP, it's clear that Ajit Pawar now holds forth. So in the case of Shiv Sena, it's Eknath Shinde who really owns the legacy of Bala Sahib Thakre. I think we, we can, you know, uh, let the discussion on vote share be for later, but this is clear shift happening. And which, Congress... On another note, breaking news coming in, Congress has conceded defeat. I mean, some in the Congress in Maharashtra, of course, I mean, trying to blame everything else except their own performance. Uh, Supriya Srinet yeah. of, uh, of the Congress party, Srinet, saying that the results are very disappointing. What is happening in Jharkhand should have happened in Maharashtra. We will work on our results. Udhata, you want to speak about Sharad Pawar's legacy? Where next? What next, Rav? No, no, Sharad Pawar, this is something surprising also because I thought Sharad Pawar was holding fort to some extent. So this is a bit of a surprise. But I think the one thing which has made all the difference, you see, these Bangladesh events are constantly playing on the mind of the majority community. Every day there is something from Bangladesh, you know. Now, juxtapose that with the kind of appeasement which Mahavika Zagadi has done in Maharashtra. The kind of demands it has accepted from, uh, uh, from uh, All India Muslim personal law board, from Sajjad Nomani.